Okay, so this is another Sterling engine. It's a design that you see a lot over YouTube. It's just a can, and it's two cans, then a PVC pipe, and then a diaphragm, and it has a steel wall displacer attached to a piece of fishing line. Look down there, I think you can see the small hole but you can't really see the fishing line very well. It's got the crankshaft that's offset 90 degrees and a flywheel made out of some hard drive discs. And it's been running for about 45 minutes now, just on a tea light candle. You see there's a black mark there, but that's just from the candle. And um, it's been running at this st same speed pretty good. Um, it'll go like twice or three times as fast though with a second candle. Um, there's really not much else to this thing. Um, I had a top to a bottle and it was this big and I glued it onto the piece of PVC pipe. And then I took a piece of rubber glove and I stretched it across here and I had some washers that I put on and I had a bolt that screwed through them. And that makes my displacer. Then I have a coat hanger going up here to the crankshaft. Um, I, I tried two or three times to make the crankshaft but every time it was too short or too long so... I just have this and I put another piece and have copper wire wrapped around it to hold it. It's pretty crude, but it works. And it's pretty works pretty good. The only thing I the only thing that made it run a little bit better was to put a little oil on every one of the joints. That made it speed up a little bit. But the limiting factor of this engine is that when you heat up the bottom, the heat will conduct through the can and come to the top. And also the fishing line. Um, the top speed of this engine is dependent on how fast that the piece of steel wool can fall through the cylinder. The engine can't push it down because it's a piece of fishing line. It can only lift it up. Also, I have a piece of wax on the end just to balance it out. And right here's a cardboard tube, and I kind of made a little mount for it. Um, so I had this three-way adapter, and I uh, three-way piece of PVC pipe, and I put some sandpaper on the can, and I ran it across it so that the face of it got angled and could be glued on. And that's the only glue on this. The rest of this is press fit and can be taken apart. This right here is press fit. This right here is attached with copper wire. And uh, this right here is a hub and the flywheels are attached to each other with a piece of wax. Um, so just a little piece of wax between all of them and push them together and it holds it. So, there's really not much to say about this. I built this in about, I don't know, 45 minutes and just wanted to see if I could make it work and it's pretty much it for now. Um, thanks for watching.